the finished look of this unit right here. So this unit was sent to me from YWigs.com. So that's YWigs.com. So there's no confusion. So this unit, um, I did actually install this yesterday. So I came back today to kind of do a different style. Um, you guys will probably see another video today because I will be posting two videos today where I talk about a new product that I got. So I did get the bed head uh, a Wave We Go, which is like their new deep waver. Now I got this in yesterday. So I was like, you know what? Instead of doing like a hairstyle with like a bun, which is kind of what it almost was into yesterday. So I was like, I got this yesterday. I was like, you know what? Let's do like a fun little wavy style for the summer and spring. Now, if you watch me for a long time, you guys already know that I'm a huge fan of like the deep wave style or anything that has like a lot of a wave to it. Now this unit is a curly unit, so obviously I did wash and you guys saw like a little bit of the wave pattern that it had. So all I wanted to do was just amplify the wave pattern up. So I got this product from Amazon and I'll link it down below. My other deep waver actually canceled out on me, so I needed to buy a new one. And this is probably like my favorite hairstyle for the spring and summer. Uh, I didn't have to go in deep because this hair was already curly, so I just went in and just kind of fixed it up just a little bit, just to amplify the pattern up and give you guys more of a visible look. I like styles like this because because they're effortless, it looks fun, and it looks like it's put together, but also very effortless at the same time. Now, I will link this product down below. This one is very cool because this one does four different style waves. So it does like a tight curl, loose curl. I'll put it up here for you guys to see. So basically, when you're adjusting the curl, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna twist this gadget down. We're gonna twist it up to create the wave. The higher you do, the more like loose wave pattern you'll get, and the, t the lower you go, you'll get like a tighter pattern. So I did go and do it at a little bit of like a mid-length uh, um, height, just so I can give myself kind of like a loose wave pattern. Now, like I said, this hair was curly. It is curly texture, but the curly texture to me is not a real curly texture. To me, it's almost like a loose wave texture, so I was perfectly fine with that because I knew I could toss these curls up with this. Now, this unit has six inches the parting space I did do my little curve part and try to bring it back as far it actually goes a little bit further a little bit right here like it touches right there for the six inch part uh, you guys did see this unit came pre-plucked and it didn't come bleached but it came pre-plucked so I didn't have to go in and tweeze this at all all the baby hair that you see in formation right here was baby hair that they created and kind of formed it through when they pre-tweezed it so I have to do none of that stuff I just went in and folded those baby hairs away I wanted to and this is what I got so this unit is very very light. It's about 180% density. Oh uh, wait, is it 180%? I'll leave that down below because I don't want y'all saying that I said that and it's not. But I did read that they said that they sent me a 20 inch. This is not a 20 inch. This is about like an 18 inch. For me, 20 inches feels like it should come like down your breast. And even 18 inch should be coming down like your boobs right here. But this one stops at a weird length even before I did put the deep wave on. So I'm going to say this is about an 18. If you want a style like this or you want like a short deep wave style, stick with the 18 or 16 inch. I kind of feel like 20 inches is excessive. It's almost close. To, it's very, very similar to 18, like very similar to 18. So I would just get this wig an 18 or 16 if you're going for like a nice little short kind of fluffy look I would say that this unit is about 150% density. I do not feel like this unit is 180 or 200 if that's what it's quoted as. This to me is 150% density, hence the fact that I, instead of me doing the high bun look, which was fine, I ended up just doing a deep wave with a lot more volume. So I like it more like this. I did show you, I didn't show you guys, but I'll add the clip in now. What I did um, do was I did go ahead and glue the back down. So I'll add that part in here. This is a lace front wig, but one good point about this wig is that you can actually put this in a bun so I did go back um, in the back and I glued it back with the got to be glue the yellow bottom and it stayed down pretty well I actually ended up lifting it up just because I had like a little bit of irritation back there I just got a shape up so I was like ah I can't right now it's kind of irritating my scalp so I did go ahead and lift it but I did show you guys that I you can glue this down this can be worn as a bun look it's not a 360 wig but because it gave you that little bit of uh, lace in the back like not even a little bit they give you a great patch of lace in the back which is a uh, given so that you can go ahead and put it up the sides of the wig in the back were um, they they did like little baby hairs that came downwards so therefore even if you thought that the little rim on the side here because it's not a 360 wig would show it doesn't show so this wig is very versatile and another thing is inexpensive right now I think it's listed at $149 um, but like I said to you guys if you're gonna get this get in like 16 or 18 inches if you're gonna go for curly styles if you don't plan on straightening this out which I'm pretty sure it strains out but because the density is not as thick as I expected I would say I would wear this curly style I'd wear it in a bun style like I showed you 
you guys or I would just wear it like this because I feel like this right here looks very nice. It looks effortless and it looks like go-to. So I'm really excited. This hair is super soft by the way guys. I didn't really, mm, I didn't receive any shedding. No. I didn't because you know when it comes to wigs and stuff like that, I don't play in the hair. Once I style it and I put my, um, let's see, where's that? I put my Aussie Headstrong Bomb hairspray in it. The hair doesn't move for me. It stays that same way. The wind can hit me the wrong way and the wig, the hair style is going to stay just right. So I definitely recommend the Aussie, um, the Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray. This works very good and I get it a maximum hold. I did go in and show you guys that I put a little bit of Argon Oil in here. This is from the Hair Junkie. Um, I did show this on my PR unboxing last month. Great product. It's an Argon Oil. I just put it all over just to give you guys a little bit of luster and a little bit of shine. So guys, I will leave all the information down below including a coupon code if you want to purchase this wig from YWigs.com and save some money. Now, do not forget, guys, to thumbs up this video, leave your comments down below, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family, people, and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.